Okay, we're in the last stages now of making up the trees. I've varnished them all and sprinkled in a range of different coloured turfs. And Chris, when he sort of came around to see them the other day, we noticed that they kept falling over really easily on our tree bases. And the sort of surface that we're going to be basing ours on is kind of like a, uh, a sandpapered textured flock. Um, you can see it's got some surface in it. And we found that when we put the trees on these, they fell over really easily. So I looked at a range of different solutions to this problem, uh, and the nearest I could find were washers in any DIY store. Trouble is, uh, steel washers were really thin, very lightweight, and quite expensive for what they were. And so I found the humble two pence, as you can see here, uh, and the humble penny, do a really good job if glued with super glue on the bottom of these trees to just weight them down and enable them to stick to or be weighted to our um, tree line indicator or forest indicator. So all I've done, you can see I've been working, I've got some deciduous ones as well, is taken my trees, glued them onto the relevant coin and then you'll see now that I've started to add in some textured paint. Now this has been quite interesting because I've been looking for an excuse to buy this really. I've been using um, some Tamiya, the new Tamiya Dorama texture paint soil effect and interestingly they do a grass effect one as well, khaki, they do a bright green as well. The end results, if anyone's used um, Vallejo pumice, it's kind of like that, if you have a look inside, it's kind of like a paint with a pumice um, effect on the inside and you can hear it see there. Um, it's a paint so it's not as thick as the pumice but it goes on really well and it covers really nicely as you can see here. I'm not making a huge amount of effort here to blend in these trees and then the other version of it, if I just put the lid back on this one, is this grass effect paint and you'll see that it's actually got little strands or tufts of um, fibres in there. Um, now I wasn't sure what I thought about this and I'm just going to show you some of the effects that you could achieve. Heavy application of it on the bases kind of yields this effect. I'm in two minds about it. I don't know if I should just flock them the same as my other infantry bases um, or leave it as is. Uh, don't be put off when you put it on. We'll see, you'll see in a bit that it can go on quite thick but it actually becomes, it dries off really clearly. If you use it with a cocktail stick as is recommended, if I'm just looking for my other one, the effect you kind of get is like this. So it looks okay. Um, and the other thing I'd say as well is don't be shy when you're doing this. Um, if more stuff falls off, we're losing quite a bit, but the varnish is keeping most of it on. It's making them much firmer. However, I'm gonna super glue any odds and sods that just falls off. So with all that in mind, all, you can see I've done my deciduous trees. All I'm gonna do is stir up my um, textured paint, put it there take one of my trees and using one of these artist spatches I got from the works, really cheap, just run some of this paint around the coins really and just blend it in. It's quite nice, it's very easy to work. I tried using a paintbrush but didn't find that so easy um, as the spatula and just literally run it around and you can see that the benefit of this to be honest, it's a bit lazy really because I thought I just wanted to get this done. I could use pumice or I could have just painted it on but I thought with the pumice and the paint all in one pot it covers really nicely, dries to much the same colour. So I'll just run that round so you can see what I'm doing. It just starts to hide that kind of plasticky base but I kind of figure that the benefit of trees is that it doesn't really matter how Posh your base as I've was just looking at the foliage really, it's just the mass effect. So run that round. Smooth it off. And I think we're starting to get there. There you go, job's a good one. I'm going to do another one. You can see I'll put this on a, on a one penny piece. I guess any local coinage that you've got will do the job. 
It just adds a bit of weight to them. I think they just, they just fall off otherwise. So run that spatula around there. Just whiz that round. Making sure I'm just covering up all the metallic edge of the coin because I don't want to see that coming through on the final one. All right. There you go, jobs are good. Two trees quickly based up with that pumice. Just clean me, scratch off, and we'll come back to it and either flock them or try some of the uh, khaki paint. That's it. Okay, so here we are at the end of the tutorial. Uh, I have taken my trees, put them on the coin bases, and then I went for the flock option in the end. Um, I used a mixture of Army Painter's step static step grass static grass mixed with um, uh, some gale force 9 really really bright grass I'll show you in a minute uh, if I just pan out from where we're at here slowly you can see that with the deciduous trees I've put them on the bases and um, flocked those and if we look at where we were at right from the beginning with the pine trees you can see that they've been done as well um, overall I'm reasonably pleased with the final look of the trees um, and there you can see the products that I've used. A couple of things came to mind as I was um, really setting this up that I was going to go through really in summary. I wouldn't suggest on reflection buying the tree sets because you end up with a lot of tiny trees and a lot of really really big trees that aren't right for this sort of scale. I would suggest that you go to your hobby shop and buy if you can the armatures themselves probably the three to five inch variants and that way you know that you've got trees that are to the right scale. I'd also recommend depending upon the look of what you're after that you use the clump foliage you can see with the pine trees you get quite like a quite a I don't know uh, well rounded coverage. I'd recommend going for the bushes though it's much smaller clumps saves you pulling them apart you can get them in all the right colours and you can see the difference really I've used bush foliage on the um, light green deciduous trees in shot and I found that was much easier to work with and it sticks much longer on the armatures than the clump foliage does. I think that's a fair point to point out with these trees is that I was talking to, well Harvey emailed me the other day and said that um, how do you get on with the, with the clump foliage falling off and I said well I'd varnish them but to be fair we, I'm still finding there's large clumps of foliage that keeps falling off and I've got over this really with super glue only so in a way I think the varnish helps um, but the clump foliage does tend to fall off more easily than the bush, the smaller bush stuff. Um, finally, uh, I would say don't buy their P don't buy Woodland Scenics PVA glue and squirt on. Um, it's heavily water based and really just makes everything fall off. I'd buy invest in a large can of matte varnish that you can spray over all of them. Um, Tamiya soil effect paint, very good. Uh, I'd really recommend that. It could be used on your regular infantry bases as well as um, these trees. Uh, I've gone for flock on this as opposed to the um, grass effect. Didn't quite like the overall final effect, but think it would be really good wedged into tracks of tanks because it, um, it you'll get that real look of sort of like crushed up um, grass and um, foliage in your tank track so I think that looks really nice. Um, I think that's everything really. Um, you do have to weight them down. I've used coins. Um, I'd avoid washers if I were you. They're more expensive and lightweight and um, do buy some turf just to sprinkle on the varnish when you've done it because it does add a little extra tone to it and I think it just makes it that little bit more realistic. So there you go our first two-part tree tutorial. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank
Молдавка, молдаванка, отвечала парню Влад. Партизанский, молдаванский, собирается отряд. Нынче рано партизан.